The FCC is moving forward with a White House executive order authorizing mass government censorship of the internet. It would put agencies like the Federal Communications Commission, run by its notorious chairman, Ajit Pai, in charge of policing free speech online. The administration claims this order is intended to address alleged bias on part of social media companies. And there's no question that platforms like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter have amassed tremendous power to limit expression, silence our voices, spread hate, and manipulate public opinion. But this executive order won't fix any of that. Instead, it would punch a giant hole in Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, which is known as the 26 words that invented the internet. It's the law that allows websites to host content posted by regular people, our photos, opinions, videos, memes, reviews, and more. And it gives websites and online communities the ability to set basic rules and act in the public interest. If this executive order were signed, it would essentially mean that whichever party is in power gets to decide what speech is allowed on the internet. If the government doesn't like how a website does moderation, they can shut them down. That won't stop big tech from silencing anyone. It will just let the government silence everyone. We've seen bad ideas like this before. Politicians from both parties don't really understand how the internet works, and powerful elites are threatened by its openness. But we've stopped internet censorship attempts before, and we can do it again. Insiders say there is significant disagreement within the Trump administration about whether to move forward with this controversial executive order. The FCC has opened public comments on this issue. It's time to flood their inbox and tell them to block this order. Take action and share this with everyone you know.